Hello all, welcome back to Learning Partner. If you are new, please do subscribe. This is another channel where you can directly connect with me. We have around 1000 plus members already who are working. We take live coding sessions and everything so to just get notified about those sessions. Please do join this group. So this is the second part where we will be seeing another example for logic development. So it's a simple train booking application form. So you can see the instruction as very, very clear. Like we first need to create an array of city where we will have list of the cities. Then that city, we need to bind it to this to drop down. Fine. If we click on the search, we need to show the validation message. Like if all the details are not filled, we need to show the validation message. If user clicked on first, uh, from station to Pune and to station also Pune, let's enter some date. And if we click on search, you can see we are getting another validation like from and to's can't be sent. Correct, because from and to station can't be saved. If we change to Mumbai and if we click search now, you can see the details are visible. It's not going to actually search the trend, just prototyping we are doing, correct? So on click of search, whatever the data user has filled, that data we will show it over here. One more thing, on click of clear, we have to clear it also and whatever it was earlier that we used to do, fine. Now, if we have to achieve the same thing in Angular, how we are going to do it? So I have just copy pasted the UI. Now talking about component. So this is the component we have. Now, so UI just I have created. So this is a city list of array. So this array, we need to bind it to our both the dropdown. Both the dropdown will have the same array. So I don't have uh, this, this project, logic development project was with the older version. So I will go with ng4. But if you are using Angular 17 letters, so you can use it at the rate for also. So star ng4, let city of our variable name that is city list. And here we can print our city. Now it's an array of string. So you don't have to bind value also over here. So whatever the option we select that will be treated as a value. Fine. But if it is an array of uh, object where we have city ID and city name. So in that case, we need to bind the value but it's a normal array so we can bind it like this and here also we will have it so let's say so in our city area we have Pune, Nagpur and Mumbai so let's say if we have that options dynamic or not let me just save let's save so now you can see in from station also we are able to see the array and in two station also we are able to see now there are two ways so first is like you can create three different variable and three different variable you can bind it over here Another way is you can create an object with these three properties and then you can bind it to there. Again, you can create signal also, or you can create reusable, uh, sorry, by using reactive form also, you can do it. Either you can do the second approach with template form or reactive, any way you can use, but the logic will be same. So let's go with the temp. Uh, I will just first explain how do we do the same thing with three different variable. So let's say we create three different variable so let's say from station, data type will be string, initialize with empty, just like that to station. Again, data type empty and date of travel. Data type, let's say string only by because by default we get the string data only. Now these three variables we have created. Now these three variable we need to bind to the respective form element also. So over here, so your bucket on bucket ng model is equal to now this is angle before angular 17 so we don't have uh, in the app model we already have the forms model imported that's why i didn't have to do it but if you have if your project is uh, apart from uh, greater than angular 17 so you will have standalone so in standalone in the import statement you need to add your forms model, then only you can use ng model. Fine. So this ng model we have bind. Then over here also we need to bind. That will be two station. We will bind it over there. Over here. Just like that, we need to bind the date also over here, input type date. So this date of travel will go over here. Fine. Now let's check if we have any error or no. Fine. Next thing, 
on click of search we need to check if all the field have the value or not now we have created variable and that variable we have binded to the form so whatever the value this tick box have that variable will also have the same so let's create a click event first so first search button so right click click on search let's create this function now here we just need to add a simple validation we just need to check if all the variable value has empty or not because if user is changing the value that value will be stored into this variable so if condition this dot from station is equal to is equal to empty or this dot to station is equal to is equal to empty or this dot date of travel is equal to is equal to empty so three conditions i have added let me just minimize maximize this so you can see if any of the condition gets true i will showcase an alert box and i will be saying like please provide select journey details like that so and in else also so first let's check it so now if i click on search you can see we are getting this alert box but if i provide all the values if we provide the date also so nothing is happening means it is going to the else block and now in else block what we need to do we just need to showcase the information right so for that we will create one more variable if you see the example on click of search we need to display that search box uh journey detail box so see if we click search then we need to display this so just to hide and show this i will be creating one more variable is form valid it will be let's say boolean by default false i will be assigning now this variable i will be using it over here on this respective div so this also star ng if if your project is with ang latest angular version you can use at the rate if also so and over here also so by default that form won't be visible journey details won't be visible see now when we have to display that if all the validations are clear so we need to make this variable true and again over here also we need to make it false fine let's just save and check Pune. we didn't add the same and two station detail yet but on click of search this box is visible now again so first validation we have checked like all form is valid or not after that if it is not if all details are pay, uh, saved then we need to add one more check if this dot from station equal to equal to this dot to station if both the variable have the same value again we will show the alert from and to station can't be same like that and in the else we will have this property as true fine and whatever the variable value we just need to print it over here also so let's just print the value so date of travel we will print it over here then over here and over here from station it will go over here and then to station will go over here so let's just save and check so if i click on search i will get the validation message let's fill all the detail if i from station pune and to station also pune i should get alert box from and to station can't be same correct now if i change the to station to nagpur on click of search you can see details are visible got it now what remaining is the clear button so on click of clear we just need to make it look like the existing one just like this so let's do the that so we have this click event so click on reset let's create this function 
what we need to do, we just need to initial, reinitialize all the variable value. Date of travel is equal to empty. Then from station is equal to empty. This dot to station as equal to empty. And one more thing, we just need to hide the journey details also. So again, we will change this variable to false. So this dot is equal to false. Let's check it. So let's try Pune, Nagpur, date of travel on click of search, details are visible. But if I click on clear, you can see at Zane, it is in the reset mode. Fine. So this we have done with creating three variable. But instead of that, we could create a object also. Let's say journey details colon any fine now what are the properties we can create the same over here from station empty to station empty and date of travel so same property name i'm using now instead of binding this variable i will be binding this object if you are already working this might be very uh, easy for thing to you but considering everyone Considering everyone should understand, I'm just going through the basics. Okay. Now, instead of uh, binding that variable, I will be binding my property from that object. From station, we just copy. Here it will be to station. The last one, this. Fine. Now, so previously we said if we have the variable, we check like this but now let me just comment this code now instead of this we just have an object so here condition will change like if this dot journey details dot from station is equal to is equal to empty or just like that instead of directly reading the variable we will have we will read the data from our object and the remaining condition will be same let me just quickly write Rate of travel is equal to empty. So if it is empty, we will showcase this alert and this uh, this variable also we need to make it false. Fine. Then else block. If all the details are filled, then we will check one more thing if from station is same or not so again if condition equal to equal to this dot journey details dot to station it's same alert same message we will showcase from and to station can be sent and in else block we will sh just make this variable true correct so this was with three different variable and this is with the object code. And in reset also, we just need to reinitialize the object. So this dot journey details is equal to curly bracket. Whatever we have done in at the initial time that we can just copy. We will put it over here. So our form will be initialized. Remaining thing will be same. Got it? So this is how you should. I know these are very small, small scenario, but having if you are fresher and if you are in uh, learning angular for the first time so this will help you to build the logic as i mentioned in the first episode also like logic cannot be taught it will be automatically developed once you work on various various scenarios which include ng uh, if condition hide and show for loop so many different conditions will be there so if you work on different different uh, scenarios then only your logic will build so you have to work on very uh, scenarios like that. So here, wait, I think I didn't save it. So there are so many exercises you can just try. Here you can see so many applications, so many small, small applications are there, which you can just uh, develop in JavaScript or Angular or React, whatever technology you have. It will help you to build the logic. So many are using this with the feedback I received. These are very helpful. And I also personally know like, it covers all the possible scenarios. Whatever we normally work in the project, those are available over here. So you can just give it a try. It will definitely help you to build your logic or problem solving skill. Right? So that's it. If you are new, please do like and subscribe.